the Sharp Tank. No jumper. Sharpest, coolest podcast in the world. And I know a lot of people know this man that's sitting across from me. He done did work up here, no jumper before, done went viral with me. You know, we got Mr. Organic in the building, ladies and gentlemen, for the ones that don't know. And for the ones that do, I'm sure they want me to tell you, man, welcome back. Most definitely. I appreciate it, man. Um, have no fear, Mr. Organic is here. First yes. and foremost, <laughs> I want to say uh, uh, blessings and congratulations to you. Thank you. Um, I know you started this journey about two years ago. Yeah. Still being here consistent and yeah. being yourself. It's a, it's a pleasure to see you, man. So I want to congratulate you on that, Thank man. you, bro. It's yeah. been a hell of a, hey, man, it's been a hell of a road, especially with a lot of the transitions and things that done took place because the last time you was here, you came to old office. Yeah, I was at the old office. Around, yeah, for sure. I'd have so, seen it, man. You know, I know you came in. Some of the faces have changed. Yeah. You know what, and what people do. Yeah. You know, the office got a little bigger. Uh-huh. You know, we... It definitely changed, man. It was some good and it was some bad, but... That's life. That's life, When, when right? you climb into the top, man, you got to go through peaks and valleys, you know what yeah. I mean? And you got to enjoy all that process. People just want to be at the top. Right. They don't want to see the valley. They don't want to see the avalanches and shit. Right. They don't want to see the um, abominable snowman come out the cave and grab you. You yeah. got to go through all that to get to the top to enjoy for real. So I've been there, done that, man. <laughs> so to come back full circle with a different perspective of life, yeah. um, man, it, it feels good, man, especially to see you in your position you are in. I, I, I thank you, man. Like... Especially the journey we about to walk down with you, like yeah. cause I, I, man, I f with your work, man. I appreciate I've been with your work since I first met you, you know. And you walked in, and we did, we did some millions. We oh, done, for did, sure. We done did some together, like so. It, it's dope to see Mr. Organic still thriving. But I noticed, be, like as we were talking about earlier, like you want something a little bit more. It seems like are you getting tired with it? Yeah. You, so the transition I took was me always living in the future because I'm yeah. a manifestator. So yeah. it's like, I'm always thinking in the future, yeah. what I'm going to do now, what I'm going to do next. Um, if this don't go right, if this go right. And I wasn't enjoying the moment. Right. I come from Southeast San Diego, bro, the bottom of the bottom. Yeah. I made it to the top of the top with millions of dollars and I didn't enjoy it because I always on to the there. next. I was, was fighting, fighting over there for sure. Oh, for sure. For sure. So it was like, um, yeah, six supercars and mansions and um, Ferraris, Rolls Royces. And I couldn't go outside. Because the paranoia of what I had to deal with, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. The, the paranoia of women. I can't even enjoy the thing I love as women. I couldn't enjoy it to that degree because I know every black man goes down to the hands of a woman. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And I'm like, damn, what did I sign up for? You know, I know I'm in L.A. I'm in a Rory with a green beard. Everybody know three of them. Everybody know Mr. Organic. Yeah. Nigga, yeah. I'm walking around with three, four hundred thousand on me on a light day. Yeah. Like, nigga, what am I doing? I can't enjoy it because I know what, it, what, it, what comes with this. Yeah. So once I was sitting at the top of that mountain for like a year straight and just feel like a villain trapped in a house and can't go outside and I, I didn't like it. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, where's my peace of mind gonna be? Where where I'm gonna live in a moment and enjoy that? Right. So I just came to a transition. I wanted to travel and see the world. And um, that's what I did. Um, a few months ago, I got rid of everything. Big ass houses, all my, my cars for the most part, besides like a couple. And um, went to go see the world, went to Switzerland. Yeah, I was, saw you yeah. was traveling a lot, yeah. man. Yeah, I went to Switzerland, Germany, France. I wanted to see the world. I want to see how people over there live. You know, I ain't too many n****s ever just put their feet in Switzerland. You nah, know what I'm saying? Like a nah. real n from where I'm from. Right, right. In Iraq out there. So they seeing real Marvel. They seeing real goddamn Black Panther walk the street. And they mesmerized, <laughs> you hear me? They want to touch the skin. That damn baby, let me, you know what I mean? God, let me get acquaint, acquainted out here. Yeah. They are devouring the God, you know what I mean? Yeah. But it was like, <laughs> I came for chillness and they want to feast upon the flesh, you know what right. I'm saying? And I did partake, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I had to, you know what I mean? But I came for peace of mind in the bag and realizing that yeah. Switzerland, one out of four people was millionaires. Yeah. So I want to see how they move with the money. It's quiet as a mouse. They ride the train. They fucking walk the places. They eat salads and wear the same gray and brown suits every day. It's not what I truly want to be, but I want to see how real money move. And I realized me having everything, being so flashy and boisterous, put a hindrance on my life. And I didn't want to do that. So out there, it gave me peace of mind realizing, yeah, I didn't need all that shit. You know, just live above more normal and have a lot of Sets, buy a lot of watches, you feel like get you a lot of gold. Because I know you, you wear a lot of jewelry. Yeah, and man, a lot of it, a gold, lot of gold it. pieces, yeah. all types. Of it. Went so, crazy. I know, I know you was out there wearing some of your jewelry. How do right. you feel? Like I feel, feel like I feel like a, much? I feel type buffoonish. I, right. t I felt type goddamn dancing monkey. Yeah. Like they looking at me like, hey, what you? Hey, like they want to talk to right. me and like and jive and you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so it was like, <laughs> I'm not that. Like, I'm shit. like, damn, that's how it is. So <laughs> yeah. that's when I start getting to the Van Cleef and the Goobaline and yeah. real stones. Like, this is still a 30 ball, only the real yeah. know it. You hear me? Yeah. So, like, now you get a different decor. Bitch. This bitch yeah. got a lawyer. This bitch died. Oh, you got the Van Cleef on. Yeah. 
waist at the bottom. Yeah. They see that on a peripheral. Right. Like a ghetto. I don't want them type like that. They don't know what they this want is. The Cubans. They, they want the, yeah, the big Cubans. Cuban. So I'm going to still keep the heavy gold for, yeah. for just kind of a nigga. But you do this here. You do the plain Jane watch that you paid 24, but that's worth 25 when you walk out the door. Yeah. You get a different type of calisthenics of life. Yeah. And you got more peace of mind because it ain't those glittery and bring so many vultures in. They can't catch it from the far. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So you're able to marinate in your glow a little bit more. Right. So I realized that out there. Got rid of like all that extra bulky, crazy jewelry I had and bought me real time pieces. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and they, they got value. Put them in a vote, let them sit. I buy today for 60. It's worth 120 as soon as I walk out the door. Right. And I ain't got to touch it. Yeah. I'm learned, I learned that shit out there. Yeah. And it changed my life and nah, perspective. You're right. Bust down ain't the way to go on any, especially with watches and right. shit like that. Because, like you said, you put that in a vault. Like, people like certain years of things. Come it's on, like man. Cars. So, that 08 Roly might be a little bit more worth than the old Most definitely. 10, you know what I'm saying? Because I guess they go by years. They go right? by years. And they go like by, that. you know, they definitely by years and models yeah. and everything and like models. that. Yeah. Special editions, one of what, whatever, that takes it to another level. But once yeah. I realized this, that I spent 100000 on Patek, and then when I go to sell it, I get 50 back. I just burned 50 racks for what? When I could have bought me something for 100 and it was worth 300 when I walked out the door. You hear me? Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to impress the wrong because, man, yeah. I need to impress myself and have this wealth and at the same time attract what I what I need to be. And that's people with big money with big minds. Right. And that's where I'm at now. So I changed my whole perspective on a lot of things, man. And um, now I'm enjoying life, living in the moment. Yeah. Not so caught on what's going to happen tomorrow. Yeah. I want to enjoy the day because tomorrow never promised till you get there. And we're not yeah. always going to get there. Yeah. I need today to be beautiful. Yeah. I want to go outside and go, go for a hike and enjoy that. Right. Not be concerned about, you know what I'm saying? Oh, they're going to break in my crib at home. I showed it on social media. I'm not showing my cribs and none of that shit no more. No. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've done that. I just never thought it was smart. Like, I don't show cars. Right. I don't, like, if I get a new piece of jewelry, I don't get online and show it. You know what I'm saying? Like, here, you just see me in it. Right. It's better that way than because when you push in the people's face, man, the vultures come, homie. Right. They, 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 the, the haters get a little bit more haterish, and now they want to do something for to you sure. You constantly keep putting it in their face. Especially when you ain't telling them how to get it. You ain't showing them. You ain't breaking down the statistics of what this is. And man, you could do it too. If you got to stamp on that a little more, it saves you. I always had a cloak of protection on me because I give so much game. I give so much of myself. Yeah. So thank God nothing ever happened to me. Besides that one time I defended and, myself. And yeah, somebody yeah. pulled the gun on yeah, you at I, the store. Yeah, Remember I beat him up, took the gun. Yeah, took the gun from him. Yeah. Yeah, God is great. Black Steven Seagal. Oh, yeah, big time. Big <laughs> Steven Seagal, hard to kill. You know, I'm more, I'm more, got my day, my day, Zell, goddamn equalizer. I give you 10 seconds, I'm going to break your damn nose and put a goddamn spoon in your ass. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the type of thing I am, but I don't want to bring that out. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, like, I was protected by that, and I always thank the city for allowing me to live the way I lived here because it was dangerous. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I move with, you know, respect. Yeah. So, but now I, I remove that out of my life. Like, I'm going to still give game, but I don't got to show everything because, like I said, I got to sleep with guns and Everywhere I go, guns everywhere. And I'm a gun guy, but I shouldn't have to be that way. I yeah. should be able to be cool. I should be able to relax. Yeah. And that's where I'm at now in life, and I'm enjoying it. My mom ain't got to call me and we're like, oh, where you going today? Don't wear that watch. Don't wear that chain. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like one of my best friends, he'd been on Joe Rogan two times. My guy, uh, Will Harris, he got a channel called Anatomy of a Fighter. He's talking to Joe Rogan about me, how he's paranoid of the life I live. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it really instilled in me, like, okay, let me relax. Yeah, other is m- talking about it. Right. Like, they paranoid. They got me scared of like, goddamn, they yeah. got a premonition. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Let me goddamn, but hold on. So once I did that, God got rid of the stuff I didn't need and gave me the stuff I needed. Peace right. of mind, living in the moment, and just being a more, you know, a person with humility. I'm not the most humble in the world because God didn't make me that way. He would make me 6'6", 230 pounds, and not a stand in the in a real organic way. Yeah, he be, wouldn't give me that. Humble. Yeah, yeah, he want me to stand out, be boisterous, but at the same time, give that empathy to people. Give that respect a little bit more to people. Yeah. I used to be a nigga, I walk in the door, they open it up. Yeah, you're supposed to open the door for me. Watch out. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Now I'm like, no, nah, thank you. I appreciate that. Excuse me. Yeah. Matter of fact, let me hold the door, let you go in first, and I'm going to come behind you. Yeah. That's the person I am now. Do you feel like you go through like some of them type of moves because it's more because you on? Because I feel like this. If you weren't Mr. Organic, right, and you were just uh, you know, nobody really knew you, but you still had all the jewelry. Right. I don't think like people really f- with you as much because you know why they don't know what you're capable right. of. Right. But when people watch you online and stuff like that, they they feel like they know you. Right. That's why people are getting the comments on you. Some people might hate and say yeah. some 
like like they know you, For sure. but it's because they feel they feel like they know you because they watch you right. all the time. Yeah. They're not with you when the cameras go off. Right. They don't know how you live. They don't really know what you eat, how you, man, nothing. Right. Other, if less you show them. Yeah, you for know sure. What I mean? So they, they feel so much more personable with you, so they feel like they can engage with you more. Yeah. But, it, but that comes with the game. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Like, yeah. I've been tapped into social media and how the trolls work and people, yeah. you know, scrutinize your life. And it's something you have to deal with as being an influencer and being a person of, um, you know, that stature. And it's, and it's okay to a certain degree. As long as it don't happen in real life, then we ain't got to, you know, send them to God because right. you play in real life or you're going to die yeah. so like one of us going to go because yeah. like, uh, and that's why I had to prevent a lot of because I'm in I'm impervious to let some pass in person yeah. it's going to go down so let me remove that chance how'd you feel about the P&B rock shit when that happened? man I, it, it me up too because okay the P&B rock shit the pop smoke shit the nip yeah. shit like I'm seeing all this I'm in LA at the prime and I'm a nigga that live like this too so it's like man it hurt my soul to witness that because all the man wanted to do is grab something to eat of course, it's Porter Calls and understanding where you're at and where you're going. But damn, though, this is my people. Yeah. I'm a nigga came from nothing just like you. You want to kill me because I made it? Why you ain't come at me for game or ask me for a verse or ask me you know, wear your clothing line or something? Organic niggas don't give up game. Right. We, I don't know why, but in our culture, we very greedy. And Extremely, we're we're greedy, bro. Like, yeah. and we and we never want to give up something. Like, I don't know why it's just like that. It's right. something to hide. It's like a secret. It's for keep. everybody, man. And it should be for everybody. Game should be for everybody, man. If if everybody got some of the proper game or just some of the proper knowledge, man, we wouldn't have half the problems around you. Most definitely, and that's you know what, what I feel like always protected me in some way. It been times when people like, man, they hit me like organic mother was talking about you, but I, I stopped that mm -hmm. just because that's that nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like it, it happens that way because I give game. I don't, I wrote four books. Go to Amazon right now. Put in Mr. Organic. Organics, he's a greatness. I became an influencer entrepreneur through YouTube and social media. I wrote a book, How to Do That. Yeah. I learned about crypto. I learned about credit. And I wrote a book, Financial Freedom, for the people. Did, I was going to ask you, is, how did you make, is that how you made your yes. fortune and got all these cars? Yes, how I got my fortune initially was from social media, YouTube, building a brand, right? Yeah. Of course, initially, it looked better than what it was. You know, you it's, they call it fake it till you make it. I call it fake it yeah. until you goddamn make it happen for real. Oh, I guess you know what I'm saying? Say you fake it till you make it, then you fake it some more. Yeah, you know got to, though. You know what I'm saying? Move, I make a million like 10, I make 10 like 100, yeah. motherfucker. Watch out. Ain't really faking it. That it ain't faking it. It's grinding. It it's goddamn. It's making it look yeah. good. Yeah. You know, that means that you cool with what you got. You know how to play. Most definitely. You have your respect. And yeah. Your it's a business. Like, in the day, we are walking businesses, entities. So, yeah. initially, I made it through the YouTube thing. Me and my dog, Tall Guy Car Reviews, we were the first black people to do the car thing on YouTube. Like, being black and being ourselves, talking. Yeah. Cussing, having bitches on there, like I being, that. yeah, being real niggas, like it never was done you before. You're man in the tall, the yeah, tall, tall guy. That's yeah. my dog, Slim. Slim. Salute you, boy. Yeah, Slim. Still to this day, the most legendary nigga ever. But like, yeah. we got into that. Once we start reviewing the cars, we got enough bread to buy the cars. My whole thing from the sea was let them buy into me. Okay, this car's gonna get these niggas the eyeballs on me. But then I'm gonna have the merch. I'm gonna have the clothing. I had. I was making clothing back in 2015. One of the ones, yeah. one of my biggest brands. I was making that in 2015. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I always had the clothes, always did music, always, you know, knew how to get shout outs. I was live streaming back then, too, getting super chats and getting the donations. I was getting two, three hundred dollars every day. We know that's bread. I'm that's, Listen to me. Two, hey, homie. Come on, man. Twos and threes make bread. What? Nigga, what? Twos and threes? Nigga, I'm. I'm as long as, hey, because it's steady. Come it's on. Coming Do 30 times way. 200, nigga. Six racks, nigga. I was in the basement at this time, living on an old white bitch paying $600 a, a motherfucking month. That six I'm making. Racks look pretty fun. And that, okay, and that, that's coming from at, live stream. At, at that time, it was. Yeah, it was beautiful. Up, nigga standing in the what? what? Nigga, six racks, you know what I'm Give me that. Give me Everything. That. I'm beautiful. And see, you don't drink, you don't smoke. Never have in my life. All your money is going towards Come on, champ. Vices. Come on, champ. So you're like, shit, all my break can go into me, my. Apparel, how I need the to appearance. Let me keep building the, Let machine. Build the machine. Let me build this robot to an instructable motherfucker Decepticon. Right. And not what I was on. Yeah. And I always had a plan to do that. So yeah. the money went right back into the machine. Get fire clothes. Get fire cars. You know what I'm saying? Get better clothes. Make your merch better. Yeah. Build the brand. I did that. Then I took the biggest leap of faith ever coming to LA. And that scared the fuck out of me. Big. I didn't know what I, Yeah, I'm like, it's nigga. Cheap place no, nigga, it's 5,000 rent. And it eats motherfuckers.
motherfuckers alive, alive. You can't really survive it. You know? Right. So I took that leap of faith. Didn't know how I was going to do it, what I was going to do. Yeah. But God was on my side because I took the leap of faith. I believed in myself. Risk takers rule the world. So as soon as I came within that first month, I had two partnerships. Shout out to my guys, Reflection Details in Vegas. They do my cars to this day. They gave me a partnership, paid me monthly, and did my cars to wrap them and shit. As you know, my cars look crazy. Yeah. So I got Raps a deal from them. I, yeah, I'm going to be Dope. playing. Dope. And then like the uh, LACGR, where I bought my Hellcat from, when I got here, gave me a partnership too. Those two paid my rent and my two cars from the rip first month in. God is great. We ain't talking about merchandise. We ain't talking that's about live chapter. We ain't talking about books. Nigga. Come on, nigga. So that's what I wrote the book. Like it was I, your likeliness the, that got that. You come on, man. Saying? Instead of just buying the car, you start creating a relationship with the man. Now he cool with you. Now, hey man, you ever thought about you know investing or you know one day, man, you can always come sponsor me. Look, look man, my shit be bopping. That's Come on, real. bro. So I formula. came in with that formula from the seed. Yeah. I knew what I was doing. Yeah. I didn't need, I didn't want chasing a million followers and a million, yeah, six, suck my dick. I need the money. I need motherfuckers to fuck with me for real. Don't fuck with what I got. Fuck with the three of them. Fuck with Mr. Organic for real. That's why a lot of people, they'll be like, you know, do you, would you rather have a million fans, a million followers or a million dollars? Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. A lot of people pick the million followers. Right. You know what I'm saying? They don't to get the money. Take the dough. Followers is going to come. Right. I always told. shining, everybody want to look at something shining. Motherfucking right. I always said I want a half and half in the beginning, right? Yeah. And um, when I first started, me and my dog Slim, we chopped it up. He was like, mm -hmm. okay, what would you rather have, the fame or the money? I said, I want both. I want to walk in the room. Motherfuckers know the God. I walk in, I'm up. They go organic. I love that feeling because mm -hmm. I used to look at people. I, I looked at warlords and conquerors. That's what I studied, like Mike Tyson. I used to study like Genghis Khan and Attila the Hun. I want to be that nigga that walk in place and change the whole demographic when you walk mm -hmm. in. So I like, I need to be one of them to get my point across. So once I got it, I knew I need the fame, but I need the money too. You know what yeah. I'm saying? A rich king, a broke king ain't worth shit. You hear me? Yeah. So I need that full velocity. Yeah. But once I got it, I realized, okay, I got to pull back on the fame and shit. I need that money because that's going to last a little longer. So that's when I started dedicating to making real, real money moves. Well, the game that me and you play in, it's like a good haircut. Here today can be gone tomorrow. Oh, yes. You know what I'm saying? Fans change on you. They don't, you know. That haircut, that was a good be. one, boy. You said that before. That's a good yeah. one. Goddamn. You know what I'm saying? Like, people don't, what I'm saying? Like, people don't, uh, they can fuck with you today and they be gone, bro. Like, it's like, fuck you tomorrow. None of your shit's popping. Right. And guess what? That bread don't go nowhere. That bread don't go nowhere. That bread don't go nowhere. That's why I call fans. fans. I love fans. I right. do. I love them, man. And especially the real ones. Right. There's a lot of them, they flip flop on you. Or just your content to them just naturally ain't hit. Yeah, and they grow. They get older and shit. And, grow, and, 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 what I, and what I call, and I don't fuck with fans. I'm going to give you some shit that, you know, I always give people and you can run with this. Like, I don't fuck with fans. You know what I'm saying? Because fans is fake ass niggas. That's the acronym. Mm. Because they only blow you when you hot. You know what I'm saying? They only blow you when you hot, bitch. I need you all the time. That's a supporter. That's the motherfucker when you performing. You got 10 people in the crowd. It be that two motherfuckers right there with your shirt on like this. Ah, a fan is the other eight that's looking at you like this and give you no real support. You no walk off. They're going to be like, hey, I fuck with you. Goddamn on there sweating, doing backflips, nigga. You ain't giving me no love. These two motherfuckers are supporters. I need supporters. Yeah. I don't need fans. Right. So if you fuck with me, you support me, <clears throat> that's everything. My yeah. favorite thing when I see somebody order some clothing on my clothing line, that's something I created. You could buy anybody clothes. You bought my shit. That's love. I appreciate right. you forever. Right. So I stand on that shit. I got supporters. I got a real gang. You know, Gargoyle Gang. That's part of my brand. The gang is going after new goals. I'm surprised you had a Gargoyle chain on. Oh, yeah, I know. I told you I got rid of that shit. You know what I'm saying? Damn, yeah, yeah. I got rid of all that, bro. I went light, just heavy gold with the motherfucking organic on that yeah, bitch. Yeah, you've turned into a nigga. You scared to spend money now. Yeah, of course. You want to stay. I love it. Hey, uh, hey, that is the smartest move. Bro. I love Never it. Never get it fucked up. I love it. I, hey, homie, when you get scared to spend money, that's when you know. You I start nigga. counting every dollar, bro. Nigga, and and I appreciate you. it. Like, Because I tell niggas, I be like, bro, count your blessings in this shit. Because you don't know when that shit going to stop. And you might need it at little oh, 100, 200,000, 300,000 oh, to get you on and For back sure. moving so you can make some more bread. Yeah. And now you don't got that money and whatever opportunity that may have been has now passed. It's gone. It's gone. Because you different now. Now you look there. They don't want that nigga that ain't got it like that. So no. don't come over here now. So yeah. once I, like I said, once I, I went to Switzerland and came back, I got rid of a lot of shit that was holding me down. Yeah. And I felt certain Ooh, things that was. was. powerful. You, yeah, yeah, yeah. You got rid of a lot of shit that was holding you yeah. down. Yeah. felt like the jewelry was yeah. holding, yeah. holding me back because it's too much paranoia. Like yeah. I still like my shit. I'm a fly nigga. Gargoyle. I'm hard and fly at the same time. Yeah. So I got to have my pieces. 
but do it in a more elegant, light way. I could take this all, just have my nip one, and I'm cool, you know? Is that why you nip. stopped coloring the beards? I mean, for now, I just feel like— you didn't want to stand out. I, I, I wanted like, to step down. Because you knew you from a mile away. For sure. You know what I'm saying? Now it's probably like, hold on, got to get up on your own yeah, shit. Okay, yeah, that's organic. It was you too much of understanding, you know what I'm saying? And that yeah. was—I built my brand on that, and I yeah. did that for a particular reason. But once I—and it, it's more of once you really got it, mm. you want to keep it. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. once you're chasing it, you're doing a lot to chase it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So once I really got it, like, I don't have to do all this shit no more. Yeah. I can really relax and enjoy this shit. You know what I'm saying? That's what I want to do. It might come back. It might not. It's like when Hulk Hogan went to Hollywood Hogan, nigga with the black you know, beard and went to NWO. Sometimes you got to make those transitions and rebrand and regrow. And it's more growth. I want to give my people this you shit. You get to show, but you get to show them, too, like, the jewelry never made you. Never. It never made your personality of who you are. That's just jewelry and shit like that, cars. They're what? They're only conversation pieces. That's it. That's what they are. They're conversation pieces to say. Yeah, I use it for the brand, for man. Somebody to look at. It's, yeah. It was a brand move. And right. That shit was smart. Now you getting rid of it and showing people like, hey, I'm still the same. And I know that was probably like, damn, if I get rid of all this shit, it's I'm a fight. wearing the colored beard. Yeah. Is this going to fuck with my brand a right. little bit? You know what I'm saying? Are people not going to be as in tune or, right. you know what I'm saying, in, in my following? Right. And I know that because that would worry me a little bit. Like, Most damn, definitely. If I change up what my what my brand, what I built it as, like I change all that, are they going to still love me the same? Yeah. Are they still going to support Most me definitely. the same? And I it, like and it, support. Yeah, and, and, that's, and that actually gave me, you know, anxiety to do so. But yeah, at the same yeah. time, that's me. That's yeah. who I am. I got to be myself from the seed. So... Once I did that, it's going to show me who really riding with me. I only right. want them motherfuckers around me anyway. If I right. can't give you um, what you're going to give me while you're around me, you know what right. I'm saying? I want that same energy to connect and grow with. So if I can't be myself with you, then be gone. I don't need you motherfuckers. I need the real to ride with me. Yeah. And that's what I wanted. And that's what I got. Yeah. So that's the, the space I'm in. It, it was a fight. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But once I, I realized I'm doing me, yeah. and uh, even if I lose everything, right. I, I, I'm going to feel better. You know what I'm saying? I got yeah. the peace of mind. You know what I'm saying? I, I know I got shit on the side that's going to take care me forever. I don't need the social media to live my life. You yeah. know what I mean? It's a beautiful thing to help and, and push people towards the right direction. But in the way, end of the day, I'm me. I start and on, on some real shit. Um, I've been that nigga since birth, right? Third grade, getting bad bitches, bitches bringing they fucking ants on the log and shit in third grade and they fifth grade. You know, you know, we a little older, so Valentine's Day, we got the cards stacked up. You know, I had the cards yeah, was, I was yeah. a card stacked nigga with the Smurfs and all that, with the name, we love you, Jarvis. I had my shit like this. <laughs> so like, <laughs> so like, but when I got the bag though sharp, it was like, I'm doing rich nigga lame shit. Hitting bitches up like, oh, when you want to come through riding a Rolls Royce? You know what I'm saying? Want to pick you up in this? Like I'm like, nigga, that's cornball shit. I'm leading with the bag now. I did, I never did that before, so I didn't like it because I'm never tricking anyway. So when a bitch fight back, like, oh, when you gonna get my nails done? I'm like, bitch, who you talking to? But I fucked up and was leading with the bag. You see what I'm saying? So I didn't like that feeling because yeah. I ain't going for nothing. But I was doing rich nigga lame shit, and yeah. that ain't me. Yeah. Bitch, you like me because I'm me. Because I'm me. I fucked up and was moving with the bag and like moving with the money, and I didn't yeah. like that in me. Yeah. I'm like, I'm a cornball nigga when it comes to the mansion. Like, what? The, oh, nigga, come on, man. Like, I, a bitch should worship the socks, man, before they see the shoes. You hear me? I always say, man, it ain't the ride, it's the play inside. Most I, definitely. I, I would want a bitch to fuck with on me. Don't, don't fuck with me because of my cars, right. or my status, or my jewelry. Cause that shit have pissed me off. Cause they let you know, like all that shit's materialistic shit. Damn bitch, that shit be going tomorrow. <laughs> right. And it can really just be me. You're telling me that you're not really set. You're not really happy or satisfied right. with who I am as you know. Say my key core. Most definitely, and that's yeah. what I've been accustomed to my entire existence. Yeah. So once I got to the top, yeah. I was changing who I was, and I didn't like that because that's never been me. So um, all that shit I want to remove out my out my psyche. I need a bitch to have some too. We gotta we gotta be able to goddamn man, grow something. That's you what I, I said. I say, hey man, I ain't these that's niggas. That's what it's about, man. That's why I just gave Adam props. I said, nigga, you go 50-50 with your bitch on shit. You that I fuck with you. You know what? I'm a, I'm gonna be honest with you. I always say this, right? Like when two people, especially like in just your normal life, two people are working and putting together shit, it always makes the situation better because you won't have one not looking at the other as not, they're not equal. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like just a regular relationship. Both the parties need to be mashing. Most it definitely. It can't be one trying to outdo the other because what happens is that's where the disrespect and the disconnect For sure. I have no reason to treat you accordingly. The disconnect comes in. You know you, you you just around her because of that. So yeah. it's like how I'm supposed to, you won't respect, bitch? Bring some, you don't 
got to have 100 like me. You can have 50. Have yeah. something. You understand yeah. me? So, like, we come from a different perspective of this shit of being real, you know, one of the ones player type niggas. So, like, yeah. when I see niggas saying they want they, they want the woman to stay home and goddamn clean the house like Cinderella and shit, I never was with that. I want that a bitch be Snow White in the castle with me, got some shit going on, too. That, that fucks her life up, though. And right. Like, what life is that worth living? She's sitting at home every day watching the same shows. Right. Do the same shit. I can't get mad at her for being promiscuous. And you can't. Get online and start talking to somebody right. or actually going in and engaging. Most you know definitely. What I'm like, you can't really be upset, homie, because she's not really doing nothing or that or he is not really doing nothing to keep themselves busy or productive. Right. So of course a motherfucker go get into some mischief or, you know, step out or think about it or Hell yeah. I done snatched a few bad bitches from niggas with hundreds of millions, nigga, yeah, at my right. young prime. And because the- and because he ain't giving the because all it all a, a woman really wants, especially when she's with a man already, is attention. Attention you know and conversation, man. And it's, it's hard because I tell a chick like this, like, damn, bitch, what you want? You want uh, a busy nigga or a broke nigga? Yeah, which one you want to deal like, with? for real. Which bitch, one you got to get kind of busy, too, with me. Because I, I heard a lot of y'all be tripping on the broke nigga. You right. Know what well, that's so, what I hear. Yeah, that's what I hear. Right. I see around. So right. Why you tripping on the busy nigga? What do you want? A, a, a nigga that's really getting money, a man that's really getting money. I don't care who he is. Right. Black, white, Puerto Rican, doesn't matter. A man that's really getting money can never 100% be there. It's impossible. It's impossible. You can't get that. And and I hate that some people live in a fantasy. They don't live in reality. That think that, you know what I'm saying? Oh, well, no, you can still. No. No. That's, that's not the way this It's not going to happen. If I sit there and I spend 24 hours, seven days a week with you, not only am I not going to. I'm not going to like you. I'm probably going to dislike you because now you're around me so much. Every little fucking thing you're doing. I hate the way you breathe, bitch. You breathe too loud. God damn. You're scraping your fork. Why are you doing that? Bitch, you got to go. I don't like that. You're not talking today. Why? Oh, my God. Basic petty (laughs) shit, bitch. I I did all this grinding and be regal. And bitch, you fucking up the castle. I can't do that. I'd rather rather a chick like, you know, or anybody like, man, get up and and take care of your business. Right. Don't be one to sit around because I even heard Gabrielle Union say she was like, uh, she was like on her last situation yeah. she was like yeah she's like i was the breadwinner so i felt the right i had the right to cheat. start stepping on that and nigga now they say well, they, they do 50 50 right yeah. they do 50 like wait, wait, I, wait, wait, yeah, I'm, I'm a jay-z beyonce nigga i'm a lisa <laughs> key switch beats nigga that's the shit i look up to yeah so i know it's a lot of nerds who get money and they want a bitch to sit in the house like cinderella yeah. i get it yeah. i'm not from that champ i come from the motherfucking sea with this shit i didn't grind to the top to drag me a cinderella ass bum bitch with me yeah bitch, uh, you had something going on too ho no. We got to grow this the right way. We got a, a lineage to take care of, a whole legacy, baby. I can't do it by myself. I might break a leg or some shit, bitch. I got my, ah, what can you do? You hear me? Like, bitch, you better come with me, ho. Motherfuckers just got to, hey, I, I feel that. Like, it's got to be some type of equality because you never respect it. Never respect it. You never respect it, homie. It'll just, it's going to fall apart. And that's why a lot of people end up stepping out or going and doing something else is because, one person in the situation has less going on than the other person. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that's where I feel like that shit starts to disconnect. Yeah, it's cool. A little honeymoon, yeah. Right. The, the pussy new, the dick new, you know, but what happens when that shit starts feeling regular? What do you do? Right. Then? The jig is up. What do you, you, know what what do, you do then? The jig now is fucking up. looking because you know why? You're looking for more within each other now. It's past it's sex. It's gone. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. It's past sex. You're looking for more now. It's like, okay. What's the next level? What's the next phase? Right. You know what I'm saying? What are we going to do now? We didn't fuck each other sideways till What's Sunday. What's next? Till Sunday. After I fuck you, bitch, it's your job to make sure you can stay. You got to prove your point to stay around here. We're going to fuck anyway. But, so what's going to make you stay? Yeah, you know, people stop doing what it takes to get the person once they really get it. That's a fact. And I, I just always instilled that until like how I live my life, That's man. The truth. Motherfuckers trying to cheat code and, you know what I'm saying? Like they, they say they'd rather pay for pussy than goddamn take a bitch on a date. Talking about you gonna pay yeah, anyway. They, that's not. That's not. That's lame. Courting is out the window. Right. But if you if you look at it like I said, what do they want? What man? Some niggas is really that busy, bro. Right. Don't have the time. It's I like, get it. I don't got the time. Not me, but just you know, because right. that's probably man multi billion man millions and billionaires out there that don't got the time to get out and properly court a Yeah. Man. You know what I'm saying? And I, and I feel like niggas do that, and that's cool for them. Nigga, but don't don't say that. it's the same. Like yeah, you're you're yeah. tricking on the bitch. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. I take a bitch on a date that I don't want to, and I fuck. I trick the bitch. You hear me? Yeah. I got the pussy. Oh, you got a meal, but I got what I wanted. I earned that. I didn't just pay a bitch. And now she's looking at me crazy. You 
because me and you both know millionaires and billionaires. They ain't got, they gonna do that. They're cheapskates. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's cheaper to have that bitch than to have a wife. Right? Most definitely. You know what I'm saying? Most they, definitely. They look at things from a business aspect, uh -huh. I feel. And you know I get I mean? that. And that's for certain category niggas. It, we it talking is. about. No, it is. You know what I mean? It's for certain. That's why I, I couldn't even throw myself in there because I'm like, right. I, I can still find some time yeah. to court a bitch. I, I want to go get some motherfucking with. steak sometime with a bitch, you know? And then that's rare when it happens. I'm not going to take every bitch in no date. Some bitches going to the crib, the TV ain't coming on, the motherfucking stick coming out. You hear me? Yeah. That's going to be the majority of the time. You know, for some of them rich niggas, man, taking the bitch to a steakhouse is like, we, we planning for it like a damn vacation. Right. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. nigga be so busy all over the world, some of these stockbrokers and all these Hell man, yeah. these niggas is waking up at five, five o'clock. Hell they yeah. out the door, my nigga. For sure. They own that. You know what I'm saying? Last thing they want to get out and do is, is go and, you know, bump into a bitch by the water cooler. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying, bro? Yeah, they want to yeah. get out. They want to skip the process. Drinks. Yeah, yeah. Man. And, and to them, I get it. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. for the average consumer, don't say this. You know what I'm saying? Taking a bitch out and the same thing as, you know what I'm saying? Paying for pussy. I, I don't agree with them because I feel like you kind of take from your life. There you go. You take from experience. You take you're, from you're that. Skipping experience. And that's And that's really it's, it's, um, instant gratification. You want that delayed gratification. You, you got to test your game. Yo, can you get that out of bitch nigga just on the conversation on some reels? Make a bitch like you. You niggas just, I mean, like I niggas get it. but the bread. Yeah, I, I really enjoy the dialogue and understanding I got that off just me, off the Zubrins. Drop, niggas drop the bread. Men drop the bread. And city girls were born. Right. And fucked up the, the whole ratchets, ecosystem. The what the, ratchets were you born. see what the fuck that's going why on? They, that's why they talk like that. And they disrespect like real niggas and tell, hey, I'm not going to fuck with you unless we go new. Bitch, fuck you. I ain't going to fuck with you, bitch. Who the fuck are you? I'm paying none of your shit. Yeah. Bitch. Like, like I said, bitch, uh, a sex for me is a mutual uh, attraction, not a yeah. motherfucking financial transaction. Right, that ain't what right. I signed up for, baby. Right. You like me, I like you. You look and, good, and I look you know good. What? We fuck. They wouldn't yeah. ask you or get it for no bread per se, but like you said, it'd be simple shit as mm -hmm. nails. As, oh, let's go, you know what I'm saying? We're going to go to the mall now. She expecting you. She looking at this fit, expecting Come you to on, man. grab it. It'd be little shit. She trying to groom you. All yeah, right. I'm not going. It's going to stop right there. <laughs> I done had a bitch <laughs> ask me that shit, and I erased her name <laughs> mid-conversation. Like, I'm about to get my nails done. Can you get it for me? Delete. God bless you. Bitch, no. Bitch, no. Come get my motherfucking feet done, bitch. Nails I'm the one. Nails ain't $40 no more. No, nah, baby, what the <laughs> fuck? Who are you? I gave you that shlong of your life, baby. That's some regular pussy I've been getting. I'm the one that got the spit. Special motherfucking edition. You hear me? Yeah. Stupid ass bitch. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> all right, so some might say it's a facade of organic. Right. What do you say to that? What do you I, have I to say, say to the naysayers of that? I say it, it is and it ain't. You know what I'm saying? From a kid, I've been this way. Anybody know me since seventh grade, they'll tell right. me I've been talking like this, looking like this, dressing like this, feeling like this. Yeah. Did I over, you know, indulge into building an organic character up? Of course I did. Yeah. But this is who I am, true indeed to the heart. Yeah. No one that ever know me be like, man, he ain't really like that. They don't be like, that nigga always been like that. He always yeah. talk like that. You always been like that, even off camera. Right? Uh, this me. So, but did I do certain things from way back to build this guy up? Yes. Yeah. But I groom my, like I told you, I studied, you know, conquerors. I studied different cult leaders and shit. I studied the real shit that's going to make me to the person I am yeah. years back. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I am who I am. It's not no facade. You ain't going to never see me different. No one, no one who ever known me to, to, to any type of degree going to be like, he really ain't like that for real. No one's going to say that. So I am that. But it is an over-exaggerated guy because I'm really a, a, a quiet guy. I don't never go out. So if you look at me on on face value, you wouldn't know that I don't go out in clubs, ain't been out in a club in five years. You yeah. wouldn't know I never drunk, never smoked a day in my life. Yeah. You would never know that I don't have any baby mamas, no women out of wedlock can say they're pregnant by me, have no kids. You wouldn't just know that if you see my boisterous character, right? Yeah. But I could turn the character up, but that's really me inside there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I turn on my persona, but that's truly me and how I think. So at the same time, my current position, I'm trying to give more of the calm me. You know, the real Jarvis Rivers, you know? Mm. I want I want y'all to feel that too. Like organic yeah. is a legendary guy for sure, but yeah. I want y'all to know Jarvis. I want you to know like I'm I am a human. You, you know, like at times. That's where you're finding your growth now, going right. to Switzerland, going to these kind yes. of places. Like you, you feel like you're trying to tap into a different you, to a, a higher you. Yeah, I'm you grounded. I'm, I'm grounded. Like I still taught my shit because I am who I am. You know, I had right. I had legendary experiences in life. You know, yeah. I have before money. I did everything that most niggas with a, a ten million dollars would do. I enjoyed that life. Yeah. So I had a different perspective. You feel me? Yeah. But at the same time, I feel like at this point, I want to be more grounded. You know, what I mean, I want to yeah. be hands on, and people could talk to me more. Yeah. I want to be 
for my friends and family, the shoulder to lean on, not the guy like, I don't know if I talk to him because he's just, because I usually was that. But I want to find a balance in that. I want to be more of me, Jarvis, and Mr. Organic, too. So that's where I'm at. I'm not perfect. I'm, I'm finding my space of tranquility right now. Yeah. And, and, yeah, I want to get that I more to the world. Because you're pretty much saying Mr. Organic could, that character, that person could die off tomorrow. Jarvis Rivers is going to live forever. And that's what so I want. you're trying to invest into him now. Right, because I did it. him going. Mr. Organic's already there. He already did. I put millions of dollars into him, bro. He's like, there. Yeah. End of the day, to keep it 100%, and that's what we're going to do because you're my dog sharp, is that, you know, I that was investments, me buying all them cars, me buying all that jewelry, me having them big houses. I didn't give a fuck about that shit. I didn't go outside. It right. was for the social media. It was for to build the brand. And it worked. I put Most millions of dollars. Shit, I did not, but I'm pure. You know they what I'm saying? I come shit. from the heart, and I want to I want to give people the game and teach them the game. And yeah. I did that to build my brand, and I did. It took me to the high. I'm on No Jumper four times. I wouldn't have did that if I wanted Mr. Organic. Yeah, I wouldn't have been on Fresh and Fit and doing all this shit. Right. I wouldn't, these people wouldn't know me. Top-level niggas DM me like I fuck with you. A lot of motherfuckers fuck with me. Top level bitches I'm fucking because yeah. I built that brand up to do such. So yeah. I did that, done that. It's there. Now it's time to more like facilitate that Jarvis, that businessman, the right. guy that's buying these watches, that got value, put it to the side, that got different acquisitions in different countries, you know, got a game show. I got a game show called Culture Shock. You know, it's on Tubi right now that I got a whole sound studio with my fucking face on the wall. Like who does that? You yeah. understand me? That's a building <laughs> yeah. in California with my face on it. That's all praise the most high. Yeah. Shout out to my guy, Mac but I have a game show yeah, that we shot 10. Yeah, you dope. see what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. I'm not playing. Like, yeah, I want to do Steve Harvey shit, but I ain't finna tell niggas to think like a man, think like a, a nigga, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> On some real shit, think like a boss. Sometimes you have to. Right, I want, Especially yeah. in certain situations, man. You got to think like a boss. Yeah, sometimes you got to think like yeah, a Yeah, because I still, I still want to, I'm still a nigga, so I still want to feel that. Like, I went scuba diving nigga and, and spear fishing with, with a Cuban on. I still want to do that shit. Skydiving nigga with a rollie on. Like, yeah. I still want to do man shit, cool regular shit but still be a little niggerish with it you hear me cause I want my niggas cause my people from the hood they gotta see that you see what I'm saying Muhammad Ali said it best if you ain't got a Rolls Royce Benz the people from the hood ain't gonna look at you the same that's why pastors look away dress away have certain shit to get yeah. your point across yeah. so you gotta give the, the, the medicine within the sugar yeah. so I still gotta give them that and show that I'm like that but let's do it the right way. Yeah, I'm, Even when I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm addicted to guns, right? Yeah. But I got my license to carry CCW. I taught that game back 10 years ago how to do that shit. I want to do it right. Let's be able to protect ourselves and, and, and fucking, if something happened, I could go to court and be like, hey, he tried to kill me, boom. All this shit not telling. Learn to do shit the right way. Mm. I want to go home. You know what I'm saying? Right. And I want a nigga not to go home and play with me. So let me yeah. do it the right way possible. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Let me know these laws. Right. You know what I'm saying? Let me do the white man shit. Yeah. So that's what I do. That's what I bring to the table. You saying that, you know, you you jumping out of planes with the rollies on. Yeah. It's like that you want your people to see. Yes. Because you you say you want to do it on a more uh, influential, like, hey, man, let this motivate you. Yes. Do you feel like you motivate or do you feel like you get more hate back because, you know, you giving niggas. Because the, the jewelry, the right. watches, the cars, the right. clothes. It's all targets. Yes, most it's all definitely. Shit to target you. It you is. You know what I'm saying? Overall, to me, I feel like I get way more love because yeah, people yeah. see within me. You know what I'm saying? Because I yeah. do get that shit. But in the day, if you watch my content, you see the realness. You see the, the yeah. message I give. I'm right. a flashy, boisterous nigga. You know what I'm saying? Right. God made me that way for a reason. But I'm going to always give them seeds back. I wouldn't wrote books. I didn't have to. I didn't make uh, limited money writing these books. It was truly to motivate and inspire my people. I wouldn't tell people about manifestation. I wouldn't show them that my ups and downs, me giving up certain things and telling you I bought all this shit for business. I really give a fuck about it. It's to build a brand. This is a real game. I want to preserve my people on this path. So some hate come with it, but it ain't real. I walk the streets every day. No one ever said nothing derogatory in my face ever. It's right. nothing but love. You changed my life. You made me take a risk. You made me, You when you moved to L.A. with that little money and look what you did, it made me move to Vegas. My jeweler, Hefe Jeweler, he did that. Like, I do that to people. You know what I'm saying? I know I have a purpose in this world. Men, like to motivate and inspire my people and I'm going to live and die by it. Right. So be it. But in, in person, I guess no hate. Online, it's part of the game. Nigga, everybody get it. It's part you can of the look game. at you, any top level nigga, don't look at their comments. Nigga, you ain't shit. Nigga, you a bitch. This is the top level niggas you ever seen in your life, man. So that come with it. Give me more. Because yeah. as <laughs> long as you don't bring it in, in human flesh, right. we, good. we good. Keep it online. We good. Turn me up. <laughs> you know I need more motherfucking talk about the God. You know what I'm saying? Say it. You know, I put shit out there sometimes. Like, oh, like some kind of, oh, they take my car. I got evicted. You got to feed the people bullshit because they want it anyway. And then you give them the real shit at the same time. Yeah. You give them fertilizer you, to grow you, with. You, we know what Mr. Organic's job is, but what is Jarvis Rivers' job today? 
today. Today, my, like what's your job today? Like yeah, my who, current who, job as who I am today is still the same message. You know what I'm saying? Just in yeah. a toned down way. Yeah. It's still motivate, inspire my people. Yeah. Like I said, me and my dog, Ty Guy, we opened up a lane for people from the streets, from 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 our, our skin tone, our, even the Mexican culture and shit like that to get into YouTube and pick their phone up and blog their life and make you a living. You ain't got to make millions like us, but if you make extra 2000 a month, nigga, you good. That's better than working certain jobs. It's 2000 you didn't have. Come yesterday. on, man. And you're being yourself. You're kissing no asses. You're not wearing a fucking a janitor suit or no shit. No. You just talk on you the got phone. a name tag on and I love now like yeah. even though I wanted it a little cleaner and um with the, with people from the streets and gangs and shit like that doing the YouTube and get, making their their content and getting bags off that shit mm -hmm. I don't want nothing to get for I don't want I don't want YouTube to turn to drill music you know what I'm saying when niggas talking for real and making shit happen I'm trying it's to want really, it to stop it's really it's getting scary getting there because real it's, niggas getting into it it's real niggas you getting in the bag it, but come on man I don't want my people to do that the space, so the space bro like. It's definitely gotten oversaturated right. with some people that should be here because they really trying to make a difference and make a change right. and, and trying to really, you know, feed their family. And then you got some niggas that's just really clout chasing right. and just moving on all the wrong accords. And it can get dangerous because people are real. I'm seeing real and real and people getting to it. And I'm happy that they're getting their bag, but I just don't want it to turn like the drill music when niggas is really rapping and killing and shit like that. I just don't want to do that. So I want to be here as a voice to say I'm proud of my people. I'm happy for my people. They're picking up these cameras, getting on YouTube, running that bag up. But let's have a mindful, you know what I'm saying, steps in everything we're doing. Everything we do, just think about it. They're watching. Yeah. You're recording yourself. What are you talking about? Nigga. It's what something happened tomorrow from the nigga you're talking about I'm and you really you, got bro. that in you to do it. You're going to prison. But like, let's think. It's, it's, and I try to tell niggas all the time, like, man, bro, the world... He listen. You might not think people are watching because you might only have a hundred, a thousand views on the right. video or whatever. Not nothing. You don't know who's watching. You never know. Don't get too comfortable because Ever. there's always somebody, man. Could be a fucking FBI agent, police, anybody. Just somebody who was just browsing and came across right. your shit just on the you web. You never know. And and see your shit. Now they, you think nobody watches, so you just running off at the mouth. This shit real. Like paying attention. This shit very real. Yeah, because it happened to me before. Because I used to go on my live stream talking crazy to niggas, right? Let's threaten niggas. I kid you. I was just acting dumb back in the day. I didn't yeah. give a fuck. I was trying to get my views up yeah. way back in the day. So, like, and when I moved to L.A., I was doing it, too. So one time I was talking crazy to motherfuckers, and then um, two, three months down the line, I'm meeting up with my dog. He's picking up his car. We in the middle of the, of the parking lot. I see a nigga turn the block, you know, and I'm like, what the fuck is that? You know, I see everything. I got my equalizer brain. He turned the block, boom. I'm like, all right. So I, I got my bag with me, unzipped the bag, like, boom, like this here. Then he turned back around, and I talked to my dog, and I turned. This motherfucker pulled up right on us quick. I'm like, oh, shit. He was like, organic. I'm like, what's up? He's like, man, I ain't going to lie, boy. You know what I'm saying? We had a problem one time online, but I, I started looking more of your shit. I fuck with you. He said, I just got out of prison too, boy. He was talking to me. That shit had me like really going to hurt you when I found you. And I, but when I seen you and I, and I was looking at all your content and whole, I know it wasn't like that. So I just want to say, I'm, I'm happy to meet you. So I'm saying that to say this, like me on social media, you never, they know you, you don't know them. That could have been bad. That's, Even though I seen him, I let my guard down for two seconds. He got up on me. Yeah. He could have knocked me down off some dumb ass that's shit on the internet. That's thing it is because it's like they all know that's, that's the downfall too. That's the, the fucked up Hell side yeah. because they all know right. in your face. You don't know who walking shit up Shit real. You. And it's and real. what they walking up on you about. You never know. So you always have your guard up, protect yourself. But at the same time, you know, that's what I'm saying. Me having the message behind it. So he might see what's playing, talking shit just on some bullshit content. Yeah. But if he looked deeper, he saw that I really got a message. I'm just bullshitting on that. So he didn't take it too serious. But it could have been it if he, if been. I didn't have no message at all. If I really was on bullshit the whole time, it could have been bad. But he's saying that I'm really telling people to work out, drink water. This nigga really a real nigga. Start businesses. Get your merch up. Oh, I fuck with a nigga. That saved me. And, and uh, I ain't, no, I could win a, a hundred out of hundred and one. I don't take that one. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I don't want that one to happen to me and nobody around me. So, you yeah. know, walk light, guys. I want y'all to get y'all back. But just know, man, people are watching good and bad. You know what I'm saying? It's out here for everybody. It is out here for everybody. But that's why I always say, man, motherfuckers better be careful out here, man, because you don't know who is walking up on you. People could be like this. Hey, man, I just want to meet you and take right. a picture. Get right up on you and pop you. For sure. You know what I'm you never saying? Know. Like, you, you oh, never know. You never know. You too, brother. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you man, you that. got... One of the ones, oh, man. Oh, man. You know what I'm saying? Got more for me, man. Everybody get your clothing up, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, this man, I ain't gonna lie, man. I, I really do love your merch, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Gargoyle Gang. Ugh. Got that one for you, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Here. 
You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm rocking oh, yeah. all of it. You know what I'm saying? Got the hard and fly shit. Yeah, man, hey, you know why this was a masterpiece? Because you ain't even got the damn chain no more. Damn right. You don't even got this chain yeah, no yeah. more, bro. So it still stand for something. You know what I mean? We something, gargoyles. Man. We hard and fly. That means that I may go hard. I may be hard. Like, I'm not nothing to play with. But at the same time, I'm fly. got wings. I can chill. I can rest. I'm stoic. I don't want no problems, but I'm ready for whatever. 50 said the breast. I don't want no problem, but if it's a problem, no problem. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We on top. We hard and fly, man, immortalized. So that's my thing, man. One of the ones you is one of my brands, all, you man. You see me in all of it, man. I appreciate don't that. Don't tripping, man. I, I support, because I support you, man. Yeah. You know, what else have you been uh, working on since we last Yeah, seen so each other? Um, last time we seen each other, like I said, I've been working on <clears throat> the game show. Culture Shock, that's yeah. going to be on Tubi. Go rock, rock with that. Of course, building the brand. Shout out to my guys at Pure Pure Branding. Help me with my um, designs and everything like yeah. that. Um, still doing the music, having fun with that. Mr. Organic, yep, all streaming platforms. I don't even rap like that. I call it voice vlogs because it's really just my life. I just freestyle what's going on, and I put it behind my vlogs and things of that nature. Um, and also, um, just, just working on myself right now, man. Financially, I'm, I'm great. And I uh, just really want to put things in real asset form instead of so many depreciating assets. And that's what I've been doing, too. I got other things that I don't want to speak upon because ain't nobody business. I wanted to leave it over there. And, uh, you know, just moving more quiet money wise, you know, I'm, I'm always going to be loud. Look at me. Six, six, two, thirty. I'm that guy. But I want to turn turn down some things and turn up the quiet things. And that's what I've been on now. Peace of mind is everything. And I want to keep inspiring my people to know they could do this too. I'm not shitting on you. I want to, you know, shit next to you than the other star. You know what I'm yeah. saying? There's <laughs> enough stars for everybody. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't want to yeah. shit on you. That's weird. Uh, open the stall next to me. They get loose. They take some motherfucking <laughs> X-Lax. Nigga, I want you to shit too. They shit, fuck it. You understand know me? I ain't trying to stop a nigga from nothing. It's enough for everybody. I don't compete with niggas. I eat with niggas. You know what I mean? Yeah. You shining, I want to shine too. You can shine brighter. I'm always a knowledge of nigga. I'm always going to tell a nigga he looking fly. I'm I'm gonna tell a nigga I'm proud of you. I, I, ain't, I ain't apprehensive to that shit, man. With your music, are you signed or have you? No, I'm independent. You know, I always do that shit myself. Gargoyle, yeah. Glen, uh, Gargoyle Music Clan is my own brand. I put it on all streaming platforms. That's been lucrative for me. Every month I get a check from Distro Kid. You know, just by putting my own shit on streams is a beautiful thing. You know what I mean? So I just have fun with the shit. I never took it that serious as I could. I got top level artists that fuck with me. Like they tell me, to, I got all the top uh, producers come to the studio. I, I, I really don't care that much for it. As I really should, you know what I mean? So I have fun with it, but it's out there. You know what I'm saying? It always got a message behind it, too. It's real, it's pure, and it's organic. Yeah. Have you, oh, always, but yep. have you done any uh, performances or anything? I haven't have performed in a while, man. Like, I haven't done any concerts or nothing like that in a while. the last one? The last one was I was, uh, oh, I actually did Dusto Duck. That's my nigga. Shout out to Desto. You know what Shout I'm saying? Shout out to my nigga Desto Duck. That's my nigga. Like, That's my nigga, too, I fucked with him when I first moved out here on some just, you know what I'm saying? I seen him. He was fucking with you. You got that same type of energy. So yeah. we both grinding with the clothes and shit. So he actually booked me for the West Coast Custom Car Show he had. I pulled out all my whips and performed up there. Real nigga, man. So that was my last performance. I think that was like two years ago. He had a little West Coast Custom, not a little, a big uh, performance. Got on that stage, did that big. Adam was there. Yeah, that was my last big performance. That was love, man. I appreciate that. That's dope because I know you come out because the fans fuck with you, man. Yeah. You know, the supporters fuck with you. Yeah. You know, so to see you out for them is rare form. Right. It's rare because you know I'm never rare. out no more. Yeah, yeah. Never out. So I'm, I'm ducked in. To see you hit, see you hit a stage, that's that's pretty dope. Yeah. You plan on doing anything like that in the future? Any shows? Yeah, I'm actually going to turn up. Yeah, I'm actually going to turn up with the music right now. Um, shout out to my guy, Hazel um, Beats. He does all 21 Savage Beats and all that young land on the track. Like, I got top level producers that fuck with me like I just ain't really tapped in so with that being said I am gonna focus on having some more fun with this music I'm a young old nigga and I ain't no kid so I'm not gonna do kid shit I'm doing real shit manifestation music stoic music that's gonna motivate you to be something understand being yourself is everything everybody else yeah. took it you know keep it organic so yeah I'm gonna I'm I'm step on music a little bit harder and uh, I got like 50 tracks I haven't released yet um, they're just ready to go So I'm gonna I'm I'm stand on that too And get more To the talking shit The podcast and shit People love when I Run my mouth in a certain way And give people that right. shit So um, I already had a podcast Top of the MOOC But now I'm gonna work On some different shit man Me and Sharp talked about Some things yeah, we can motherfucking can do I You understand like me some things That can definitely happen In the right. future I wanna know Have you uh, I'm sure if, you know Fans wanna know have you like? Have you went like state to state? If you took Mr. Organic, like just even some meet and greets right. and just actually, shit like that. You actually, know? me and my dog Slim in the beginning, yeah. first year in, we went a co we did two coast to coast tours on our own. That's yeah. actually where that situation happened with the chain shit was here. We was on a tour. 
We went 15 cities in 17 days, packed up my truck and a Hellcat. We went state to state early with the shit, with the merch. We been hands on with this shit. We did that from the seed. Our shit wasn't that big, but we knew we had to get hands on. We learned that from Nip. R.I.P. Yeah. Nip, he motivated us to get grassroots. This way before he died, I always listened and seen his moves. Yeah, so we yeah. got our own merch, put our own money up, went state to state two different times. So I've done that. Um, I want to do it again, but it got to be the right way. But yeah, I've done that five cities in seven days, 15 cities in 17 days. I did that hands on with the people. I want to tap in more with that, though. I, I removed myself from people a little too much, and I want to get back hands on with the folks. That's dope right there, man. Yeah. Like, I, I like how you've been moving. Like, you really haven't changed nah. other than, like you said, just toning it down a little bit, you yeah. know, and trying to maybe just see clearly. You know yeah, yeah. Because when you slow down, you can see everything. Yeah, it was like, I, like I said, man, I, I was. It's I was, a fast life. Yeah, it's a fast life, and it wasn't enjoyable. You know what I'm saying? Like, Why you say that? Because once you get everything you dreamt of, you realize you didn't want that shit. You know what I'm saying? And it's, and it's kind of like a, 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 a discouraging thing that everything you wanted when you got it, you didn't you didn't want it. Yeah. Like, damn, I thought I wanted all this shit, but then so I got to so deal with all this. So are you saying, not Mr. Organic, but Jarvis don't like the cars, the clothes, the yeah. big houses, um, the money? The I'm always going to be fly, right? I'm always yeah. going to be fly. I'm always going to be, you know, have yeah. certain things, but yeah. I didn't need the massive two of it. You know what I'm saying? I didn't need six cars. I need a Ferrari, a 720S McLaren, a Rafe, a 4x4, an AMG GT Hellcat, and a mansion in Malibu, and I'm by my fucking self. Five bedrooms, six thousand square feet. He said, "What life is that?" By like? myself. He said, "What life is I that?" I came like? and enjoyed the fruits I of my labor you. and had bad bitch. I got cameras in every room because a bitch <clears> gonna make up something on the guard. Make up something. Bitch might tell a nigga where I'm at, mm. so I gotta live in the top of a mountain with fucking twenty cameras around. I came and enjoyed the fruits of my labor. I came and go pull up to the club and hop out Rari, chain or what's up. He's saying, what's up? I like, can't, and, and that's what I used to do when I was in Minnesota. I said, enjoy that. that. Shit a little bit of up, course, that was me. Outside, that right. was an outside nigga. Yeah. But everybody tell me, you too accessible. Something gonna happen. I'm hearing all this shit. But I'm, nigga ain't no, and the more I'm hearing it, I'm like, damn. And then once I pulled it back and then I got all the shit, I'm like, I can't do it now. Yeah. Uh, and it was crazy. So, I realized it wasn't for me, you know? It wasn't for me. Having everything into that magnitude wasn't for me, especially showing it to the magnitude I did. I still want to inspire my people. They're still going to get some, but it don't need to be everything. You know what I'm saying? I can enjoy my peace of mind. Living, like, I, I, it's something I came up with that, you know, I, I'm never going to live normal. Like, I got a Hellcat Superstock out there right now, that bitch 130,000. You know what I'm saying? That's not normal. You know no, what I'm saying? No, so, no, but not. to me, it's like, uh, but it is it's still a machine. So, I feel... Two notches above normal is the way to live and have all that shit coming in and staying. Yeah. That's the life for me. Yeah. I don't need to have fifty thousand dollars a month in bills and make it seventy. You know what I'm saying? Cause once that bitch go from seventy to thirty, now you're going out twenty. Nigga, hell no. Nah. I want to have money for give me a thirty bitch and a ten going out. Ooh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's the the motion. It's hard to stay behind the scenes on what we do if you really want to make some bread. Right. You got to get in front of it. You got to be, gotta in front be of that it. person. Right. You know what I'm saying? And you got to bring some type of personality, your personality. Right. You know, some, some sprucing this shit the fuck Fucking up. Fucking right. You know? And I think, like, it, it's, man, I would love to have the money and live behind the scenes, but I know that ain't the it way ain't gonna way to go. So I got to use the way it works. And bro. it's the gift God gave me, right? He gave me this present, this voice, and everything included in one person yeah. for a reason. So yeah. I will utilize it and use it, but at the the same time, I do want my behind the scenes to be working a little bit harder and better for me. You know what I'm right. saying? I want to be more at the motherfucking table like this, do that, do this. Nah, I don't like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. I ain't got to always be there. A, a hustler has to always be where the money at. A businessman don't have to be where the money at. And a bit, and a bit money still comes. You hear me? So I want to be more of a businessman instead of a hustler. You know what I mean? And that's yeah. why I'm growing. I'm still going to be the face. Jay-Z still pop out every now and then, but do you see him all the time? Because mm -hmm. he did that early, right? That he early. built it up early. Ah, and then he stepped back. Now the bag is even more boisterous. You think that's where people go wrong? Organic is where like they don't grow when they're supposed to, Most and they kind of just stay a nigga that's just drinking and dancing, and right? Just kicking it every night. He right. at the club still every night, nigga. You've been doing that for the last ten years. Have you gotten it out? Just come on, man. Yeah. And it goes. Yeah, you, you, you have gotta, to know when to grow. You got to know, know when to, to stop, grow, man. And be like, okay, yeah. What is the best for me? What's yeah. gonna you know give me longevity? What's gonna make me yeah. happy for real? Like, people don't live with joy no more. They always living for the, the instant high, the instant gratification instead yeah. of getting some real joy or something. Yeah. I get to do something, ah, oh, this is dope, this is fun. Yeah. Like, when I work out, I enjoy 
that. I enjoy that push, yeah. that pain. I'm pushing it. I'm growing my body. That's a beautiful thing. I did yeah. that. No one could take that away from me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Only person that could give you that is God and yourself. If your body is healthy. So I love that interaction of working out and getting that. I bring It brings me joy. So yeah. like people need to find more joy and stop chasing everything. You know what I'm saying? Seem, Let it come to you. You seem like a person, because you even spoke of some of your friends, man. Like you've influenced them to go do like motivated oh, them to do something great. You yeah. know, I think where the disconnect comes in for a lot of people is they don't have that support. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Or and it, it's the surroundings. You know what I'm saying? The people you surround yourself with. Yeah. You know, if you don't got people like, hey, this is how you should be moving, or this, and you seeing them, everybody's kind of balling. You're gonna pick it up. Most definitely. Because you're gonna want to make that too. Yeah. You know, if you don't have, I feel like if you ain't got the influence or the proper structure just from the people around you, how could you ever know? when to grow. Yeah, you got to have that you know? real, real, fr see the problem in today too, like we always, like you said, about people just so competitive, don't want nobody to get the yeah, seeds and bro, give them game. Like so that. that goes with your closest friends. Yeah. Only my friends around me, they all very successful. We all grew from nothing together, yeah. but we're like this. I can say whatever, and they can say whatever to me. Yeah. It ain't no fight. It ain't no goddamn nigga, why you saying that? I'm like, damn, for real? Let me work on that. Damn, if it ain't no give and it ain't no take, I don't want this shit. It got to right. be seamless. You right. got to tell me whatever. And if you need me, nigga, I got to be there. It ain't no questioning. You my dog. You call me 12 motherfucker at night. Hey, man, be here. I'm there. It ain't no man. I ain't your motherfucking slave. You don't tell me. Nigga, what? I'm there. Right. Because I know you would do it for me. And right. you ain't going to call me to no bullshit. Right. If you ain't got friends like that, why they around you? Yeah. I'm that nigga you could depend on because right. I'm going to depend on you, nigga. Right. If I pour in your glass, you better pour in mine, nigga, Straight or there ain't going to be no glasses to drink there ain't from. Gonna be no I don't need no hundred motherfuckers around me sipping on my motherfucking shit, man. If right. you pour into me, I'm going to pour to you, nigga, and we going to grow together. I go down bad, nigga, you better pull me up because I'm going to pull you up, nigga, or Fresh. don't fuck with me. Don't fuck with me. It has to be that way. Yeah. I did so many unspeakable things for my close friends to the top level, to financially, street, whatever, and we never speak about it because I know they do for me too. You know what I'm saying? That's what it's about. Or I can't fuck with you. That's how I move. I don't need it. God made me great by myself, but he can make me greater with people around me. Yeah. So you're a person that understands, like, hey, it takes a village Man. to get there. And why not just get, why get myself through the door when I can pull a lot of other people with me? It's such man. a beautiful you know thing saying? when you do that. You know that's what I'm saying? That's a real leader. You know who do that shit? That's like, a leader to me. That's a real leader. That's a that's, real leader. That's, 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 and, like, if you look at, like, different culture, like the Muslim culture, you know, they, they'll, like, have 10 people live in one house. Mm -hmm. One guy got the good credit to get the cars. One mm -hmm. guy got the, 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 the shit to get the house. Other guy the one to get the groceries. Other guy the one that, you know what I'm saying? They work together and they build together. Once a guy, okay, the knife guy, he got his shit right. He can get his own shit now. We made sure we get him some bread he get the crib in his own shit boom but they stay together and build their community and their family together it ain't no rush it ain't no disrespect nigga you need to stay with me full house nigga we here together let's build this bitch up yeah. and once you straight you straight leave up. nigga don't rush this yeah, shit don't fuck rush what these it. people talking about nigga yeah. we gotta win for real in life not what would it look like nigga what can we do to make each other the best right. let's do that Fuck with people thinking you want to go out there and starve and have a little shit just because you got your own nigga. When well, you can be with me, we grow together. That what family do. I that what friends people, do. I think people find it funny to watch their people starve. Like they you. love that. Like they don't say nothing, <clears throat> but I think they they it's like some type of little deep down secret enjoyment that they take out of it, like watching. Because like you could call and like I'm just using an example. Like you call somebody right. And be like, yeah, man, They're like, hey, I need to borrow some bread. Like, what's going on? Right. Sit there and tell them the whole motherfucking story, man, for an hour on the phone. I was going for them to still be like, hey, man, why well, I ain't got it? Right. Like, it's like, did you get enjoyment? Yeah, they want to stop. Type records you on the low and tell your other friends. Yeah, type. did you did you enjoy you know hearing my sad shit? Like, is that why you sat here? Like, you could have just told me, hey, I ain't got it, man. Like, but if I can help out, like, I figured out. Like, cut the convo. Let me get to the next. Yeah, because I, I really need out. this. Don't, if, don't if you if you got it. I should got it. I don't give a fuck right. what a nigga talking about. All that shit, every man for himself. That's true for niggas that ain't your real people. Yeah. Nigga, if I got it, you got it too. If I can help you, I must help you. If you my dog, you shouldn't have that motherfucker around you. you ain't gonna help him in, this, in the sense of despair he has. Yeah. Why are they around you? That's gonna be something that's gonna bite you in the ass later. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it shouldn't be that many friends, but if you got friends, you should take care of them and nurture that situation. That is how I move. That's why a lot of motherfuckers are moving with me. Is that how you... um? expand your notoriety within your people like you know just how they fuck with you right you know and believe in you yeah and know that you're a leader man you yeah. know 
You feel like that that fuels you too? Like you you grow with that too when you see you got a lot of people that probably depend on you, even supporters. Yeah. Man. People wait for you to drop a video all the time. Panic. Just to say yeah. something, and what do they do? They'll get in your comments, or they'll get in your DM and the message request and say, "I needed that." Today. Yeah, most definitely. I, didn't, I didn't got so saying? many people that, that so today. many suicidal notes that man. I motivate them not to do that. So yeah. many people they gave up hoping they took this last minute situation job and it worked for them, or they invested in this. They never yeah. want to do it. I do that. I take pride in being a leader. I take pride in being an influence. I, I cherish that. Yeah. I, in my family, my mom, I I changed her life and pay. I, my mom don't work. She retired. Yeah. I've been paying her bills and shit for the last three years I bought her her dream car that's all I wanted to do um, with my blessings I dreamt of that and I did that and it's my greatest accomplishment it's you know what I'm saying what overwhelming to of course it is have that greater responsibility yeah. on your back like always has been you know what I'm saying I always yeah. had that drive I always was the person that Moses to go out to the field and figure it out no one pulled me or carried me you know what I'm saying to the promised land I always had to figure it out and I always did it is a burden I must carry but the greats do that and I still to this day do that you know what I mean everything ain't gravy all the time and I gotta take care of all this shit but I signed up for it and I must have this God put this on my heart put this on my back for a reason I am the leader of my family I am yeah. the leader of my friends and, and taking lips and, and creating Shit. It's, but I feel like organic, it's gotten a little bigger for you, though, because you actually have a fucking hell of a following right. that rocks with your They love me, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's, that's why I say it's like I feel like you've took it on or taken on a greater responsibility than just, you know, immediate family or, yeah. you know, friends. Yeah, it, I, I feel like God anointed me, man, a long time ago. You know, um, yeah. he made me a certain way, gave me a certain voice, gave me a certain heart. Um, doesn't overwhelm you sometimes. It, it, all the to time. To deal with, you know. All the time, man. I go. think about it all the yeah. time, man. I think that's yeah. why I do certain things that, you know, to, to take adventurous things and shit and, and work out. It gives me that, that fight that I need because yeah. it is a lot on my plate, but I ask for the feast. You know what I'm saying? Like, people get mad. They got to wash the dishes when they ask for a buffet. I got to clean this shit up because I asked for it. I dreamt of this shit, and I, and I got it. I got everything I dreamt of, Sharp. You got to think about that. Every single item, every woman I ever wanted, I got it. Why did he get this to me? For what reason? So I must feed my pee. Gave me this energy, this this sense of if I do this, I can do this. Like so, me the grind. So it never was easy, right? So me the grind so hard and the win is for me to get that to my people to show them it ain't easy, but you still can live good. You got to go through the bullshit to get to the good shit. Cause I do it all the time, still to this day, and I still prevail. It ain't always gravy, but I'm still going to get to the mashed potatoes regardless. Yeah. So I must give it to my people. That's what I'm here for. I know it. I know it. Because if it wasn't, then why the fuck he let me win the way I win? Why he got me on these platforms? Why he got me, you know, feeling and thinking like this? To motivate, inspire my people. I'm here for the people. You know, I got everything I wanted for myself a long time ago. I told you my dream was to take care of my mom. I did that. It could have stopped there. But I'm still prospering. I'm still living and doing what I want. So I got to get that to the people. Anybody out there, you could be whatever you want. Don't give up. Don't give a fuck. Put it all on line now. You would get it down the line. It ain't going to happen instant. You plant a seed today, you don't get the fruit today. The seed, seed, root, tree, fruit. SRT if it's right there in my knuckles. Seed, root, tree, fruit. You plant a seed, the roots grow, the tree sprout, you enjoy the fruit. And then people that was with you from the seed, they the ones that get the fruit. Not the niggas that start coming on the tree sprout and get the fuck out of here. Who's with me in the mud? Right. People say they're from the mud. I'm from the seed. Who was there when I was in the fucking mud? I'm going to remember that. When them seeds come, when that fruit come, because I'm going to give you the fruit, guess what? If you was there from the seed, Sharp, when I give you the fruit, what can you do? You can eat the fruit, get the seed out, and grow your own shit. Nigga, don't have me for nothing shit. unless yeah. you need help. I'm there, but nigga, pay uh, attention. Some people rather just keep eating off your tree. But you ain't going to let them come, though. You know what I'm saying? You ain't going to let them get none. You know, uh, yeah, yeah, that's why a farmer got that big Elmer Fudd Hell motherfucker yeah. that splat your dumb ass, bitch. You want to hear when them coyotes are trying to chew on these motherfucking carrots, bitch? You get none, you hear me? So niggas want to see you eat with you. And that's when I get I give people the seeds, man. I got the fruit. I ain't going to lie. Seeds. I would love more than to see you like in a celebrity boxing match, but I see nobody fucking with you. No, nah, I'm too like, dead. Nobody wants to nah. like. You know how like everybody been picking at they, each they, other. They they want to do that. Right? I ain't seen it's nobody too dangerous. try to swing Because it's documented. Say, hey. Like, if you see how I move and you see, I didn't knock niggas out with guns. I didn't knock niggas out flat line at, I did wild shit and then I'm versatile. I'm 6'6", 230, but I'm liquids fast and quick and elbows and punches. Like, I'm brutal with that shit. Like, yeah. I couldn't visualize a motherfucker that could play with me like this. It's not yeah. because I'm tall because I'm big. No, I've been knocking out.
been out niggas since I was a kid. Yeah. So I've been, you know what I'm saying, versatile with this shit. Only motherfucker that can come to me gonna be a professional motherfucker. And bitch, no, I ain't going. You know what I'm saying? You, you gotta be a regular think, nigga like me. I you know think, what I'm saying? I, what do you think? I think you and uh, Le'Veon Bell be a dog. That'd be a good one. I actually hooped with him in a, a, in a celebrity uh, bo- uh, basketball game. Yeah. Killed him, by the way, Le'Veon Bell. You remember that shot to Le'Veon Bell? We was in Minnesota for uh, Super Bowl. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I ripped that uh, game winner, all that. He know me. He, let me on Bell know me. That'd be a good one. Right. Beat the shit out that nigga, man. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to tell you some real shit. I really don't want no black and black crime. I want a white boy. I, no, I want I a white boy, man. Dope. I need a white no, boy ass boy. The reason I say it would be good because y'all both athletic as Oh, fuck. for sure. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so that'd be a good one. It would just be a dope fight. Y'all ain't got no problem. No, 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 no. It would be dope to just see that athleticism be put. Yeah, that'd be hard. Now, he you not that AP saying? too, you know what I'm saying? He's a strong-minded nigga. Right. He is I too, fuck with so him. I just feel like... Yeah. That shit would be Clash of the Titans. Yeah, shout out to Le'Veon Bell. Like I said, we we met each other in Minnesota, played a basketball game. Yeah. Um, cool nigga. Cool nigga. You know what I'm saying? He took his own route. You know what I'm saying? No hate there. But yeah. uh, I would do it, but I, I prefer to knock him. I want Bradley Martin. So I want a white boy. Mm. I want to knock out so the I big white, white boy. <laughs> I, want, I want a white boy. I want to do a black and black crime. Give me a white man. Let me take out my frustrations on the Caucasus Mountains. You hear me? Let me step on a motherfucker with you. I'm tired right. of knocking out niggas. I've been knocking out niggas my whole life. Right. Give right. me a white man. I want Bradley Martin. I want to knock that white boy out. Bradley He Martin. think he big. I'm big too. He yeah. 260. I'm 230. By, type 240 right now. Yeah. Taller than that nigga. Yeah. I knock him out smooth. I want Bradley Martin. Come on. Let me knock your ass out, man. That'd be, that'd that'd be, be a good one, wouldn't that'd it? That'd be a good one. Bring your motherfucking ass over here, white boy. That'd be a good one, Let me one, man. put these motherfucking, motherfucking nigga hands on you. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything you want to say to the supporters, to the fans, or to the non-achievers and unbelievers? Man. I just want to say this, man. Last words for him. First and foremost, I just appreciate anybody that ever rocked with my campaign from the seed. You know, um, it was a hard fight. I come from nothing. Like most people from my environment, to me, to get my dreams come true was all due to the people rocking with me. You know Mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I asked for eyeballs, and God God gave me that, and I took advantage of that, and I still am. So first and foremost, appreciate to the people, the guard, gold, gain, organic nation. I love my supporters. Other than that, man, I just want to tell people, believe in yourself, never give up, and never give a fuck. That's the key to this shit. Keep going, no matter what. Keep going, keep growing. I don't give a fuck how dark it is. It's going to be light on the other side somewhere. I don't give a fuck you're going through hell. You're burning anyway. Keep going. You might catch a little breeze. You hear me? Just keep fucking going, man. Like, it's never going to be easy if you want to be great. You want to be normal. You want to be cool. You could do that. That shit's still going to be hard, motherfucker. Right. You know hear I me? Mean? So why not go for the top? Why not make your dreams come true? You're going to die. 100% guarantee. So why not die with those fucking memories in your mind as you lay in that motherfucking bed? I'm ready to go. Nigga, I done right. jumped out of airplanes, nigga. I done right. fucked a bad bitch, nigga. I done fucked yeah. guy, and I done drove every car, nigga. I done yeah. had the, the motherfucking fluffy with the motherfucking uh, dog that cost 10. I done did everything, man. You know what I'm saying? I done walked in motherfucking lava. I done did everything. That's the mindset you want to die with. So live it now. You know what I'm saying? And live in the moment, too. That's my new mantra. Like, don't be so caught up in the future. That fucks you up. Live now. Tomorrow's not guaranteed. Nothing is guaranteed but the now. Enjoy the now. Enjoy the journey. I had way more fun on the way up. It might seem like it was fucked up at the time, but I enjoyed my life on the come up. I enjoyed my life on the ups and downs in the beginning. It got a little dark when I got to the top. And that's going to happen to most people. I'm going to inform you of that. A lot of you people going to make it to the top. You're going to see more darkness around you because you're not supposed to be there. Only 1% of people get to indulge in this life. So enjoy the process while you can. It's a beautiful thing. You know what I'm saying? The journey is beautiful. Oh, it's beautiful. Like, if you really sit back and you look at it, yeah, it'd be fucked up. You're going to have some struggles, but that's what makes the journey beautiful. That makes it beautiful, man. So believe in yourself. Never give up. Never give a fuck. Invest in yourself. You know what I'm saying? Don't take, don't don't ask for no handouts, man. The handout will give to you once you deserve it. It's going to come. No one owe you shit. You know, God gave you life. You want out a couple billion sperm to motherfucking hatch. You got that. That's enough. Make it happen. You hear me? You ask for too much, goddammit. You know what I'm saying? But that's it, man. It's organic. Make sure you go to organiclifestyle.com. Support the brand. I got the books. I got the clothing. I got the merch. I got everything, man. I did it myself. Grassroots. You know what I'm saying? I had the Chris Brown little baby. Take my shit. Go on tour. But it's okay. <laughs> it ain't no beef. You know what I'm saying? We all black. We I can make some. I had to, though. Because one of the ones I've been on, I got to throw that in before we get out of there, man. Shout out to you guys. Somebody need to holler at me, man. I will appreciate that. It ain't no problem. But damn, I'm take my Zach logo. And I've been doing this since 2015. And nobody say nothing. I own this copyright trademark. But I ain't go through no sue shit because. I ain't like that, but it's still, let's do something together. Chris Brown, little baby, one of you guys highlight me. Let's do a little collab or something. I appreciate that. I don't need much. Yeah. I got money. I got everything. Let's work together. I'm one of the ones for yeah. sure. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. my shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I just appreciate that. That's all. You know what I mean? But other than that, man, I appreciate the world for, um, 
you know, believing in me and allowing me to be me. Sure. Thank you, Sharp, for letting me use your platform. Me. Appreciate Always. you, Adam, for using your platform. Yeah, um, for it's sure. a blessing to be here, man. man. You, listen, I mean, you know you're welcome here anytime, man. Most definitely. We're going to do some shit in the future now. We, yep. we got you back around here, man, sure. moving and grooving. We're going to come together, man. Yeah. Don't trip. I got some ideas for us in the future. Yeah, we're going to work, man. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Organic. Mr. God. Y'all know what it is. It's the Sharp Tank. Bam! No jumper. Sharpest, coolest podcast in the world. Hey, Donnie, shoot us out the motherfucking gym. Hold that follow through. <laughs> <laughs>